It's time for the Giz Wiz with Mads, Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1962, recorded Thursday, November 17th, 2023. Soap on a hope. On this episode of the Giz Wiz, Dick D. has a piggy bank that kids will love, but parents might be scared of, plus an LED Christmas tree and another crappy corner of unbelievable, doesn't look like it should work, gadgets, plus an awesome viewer video, all next on Vicky's Win! It's the same show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now! And here he is, Mr. Fizz, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing great. Doing very good. It's been good. Uh, Did you go? Have you been down to Nasser? It's in your backyard now, right? So I tried. I actually, I've, I've, uh, oh, I have wait made a minute. it over. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You Remember how I tried once. to see the Artemis? Yes. And it did not work out for me. Um, do you know what is so funny? Is two days ago, Minecraft released an Artemis map that is the space shuttle, the SLS spe space shuttle. And you can like craft one and like learn how it works. And, and it's official with NASA, which is- Oh, really? Which oh is just so goodness. funny. Um, yeah, it's, you know, I had heard of the Space Coast, but I didn't realize like that's literally what people locally call it around here is the Space Coast is that side of Florida is the Space Coast. And so, oh yeah, goodness. I made it to the, the Space Coast. Um, wow. And it is crazy. You can actually see the rockets from Orlando. Like, if you time it right and you just look, <laughs> you look east, you'll see a wow. rocket. You'll see wow. it. Wow. It's, it's really crazy when, um, when it's happening. Uh, I mean, it's Do you just, feel it? You can't feel it in Orlando. Yeah. No, not oh, in okay. Orlando. How, how far away are you? Uh, 30 to 45 minutes drive, so. Oh, oh, that's pretty close. Yeah, yeah, it's not too bad to, yeah, to get yeah, over there. Yeah, yeah, like 50 miles or something? Right, exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, but, like, if you're, it, it's the most crazy thing, because, like, you could, I would, the one time I saw it, I was at Disney. <laughs> It's like, oh. there's a rocket going off so, over Wow, there. look at that new effect. <laughs> exactly. What a let's firework. Go let's, go, let's go ride that. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it, was, it was really, really... Uh, yeah, so far I've, I've caught, I think, three launches um, just by happenstance, not trying to schedule it. There's a good app I've uh, actually seen that will notify you, like, launch taking place. Um, Ooh. Which is great, which is, you know, really good. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I really want to get down and if, especially if they do another SLS or maybe like a Falcon Heavy, that would be awesome to see. Uh, or when, if they ever, sometimes they have the boosters, honestly, I don't, anyway, sometimes they have the boosters return to land, SpaceX does, um, instead of like landing out in the sea on a drone right, ship. Yeah, okay, yeah. And that, would be cool to see the boosters coming in from space. Um, that would be neat. That'd be really cool. Wow. Um, so yeah. Well, what's been new with Excellent. you this week? Oh, uh, let's see. Um, get attention. I went to remember. I told you last week about the West side coalition for food for. Yeah. 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 So they had a party and I, and, and then I got invited at Tavern on the Green, actually, I, I sent you a link to it. You could just run some pictures of it. And, and I said, well, Tavern on the Green, isn't that kind of fancy? And she said, don't worry. Tavern on the Green loves what we're doing. They are comping everything. Whoa! They gave us the space, all the servers, all the food. For, for those who don't bar. know, Tavern on the Green is the restaurant in... Central in Park. Central Park. In, in Central, Central Park. And has been there for years. Yeah. Historic. And then it fell on hard times and it closed. And then they took a part of it and made it the visitor center. And then someone came in with a, I guess, a ton of money 
and redid everything over again so that um, it's a very hot seat, hot seat place. Yeah. 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 It, it was, yeah, it's that the was, that jewel was, that it's supposed to be. Like it's yeah, yeah, incredible. exactly, a, a, exactly, exactly. And uh, no, it's it's great. And they put in a lot of uh, old fashioned uh, Edison bulb lighting. You know, wow. even though they're LEDs, they're it, it's it's great. It's just it yeah. was just it was great. So that was fun. That is cool. That is yeah. crazy. That it is awesome. Yeah. Love that. Love that. Uh, I don't know if I've ever, my mother may have to send me an email and say, we went to Tavern on the Green and our family vacation. But I don't think I've ever um, eaten at Tavern on the Green or been, I think I've seen the outside only. That's it. Um, yeah. I, yeah. In the old days, Dennis and I went there a lot because it was a huge go-to place for press events. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, and then... When it fell on hard times, and of course, press events are sort of getting less and less these days, <laughs> because they can just do a Zoom meeting and yes, yes, get it over with. And my mother is in chat. She says you have not been to Tavern on the Green. Oh, okay. I have says my mom. So my mother has. Okay. I have not. Okay, okay, very good. Very good. Walked by once as a, a reverb. That's that's what I think I did. Um, so, uh, does the current tavern on the green have all the stained glass? That you it know used to? what I? You know I don't know because we went directly to the ballroom that we were assigned to. So I, uh, uh, I from the coat check, I, I walked through some of the rooms. I don't remember seeing any stained glass, but. I think I, we just saw a piece of it because it's big. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy because it's really, you, there's a few buildings in, you know, in Central Park, but not many. And no. it's, per, you know, it's in the perfect spot, has a great location. It's pretty incredible. Uh, yeah. Great. great. Um, Absolutely. I, one thing to note is that next week we will not be recording on Thursday. We'll be recording on Tuesday, so please, if you want to watch the live show, come on over on Tuesday, same time, and uh, catch the live show then. Um, and, and on Thursday, you'll be thankful that we're not on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> on Thursday, you'll be thankful we already did the show, and you can just yes. watch, watch that. No. Uh, so, yeah, it was great. It was great. Um, okay, let's... Let's do stuff. Okay. Uh, gadget number one right here. Searching Amazon for unusual or weird gifts. I found the face bank. Okay. The face bank. Huh? This box is a little beat up. I hope this is not something that someone returned. Okay, this is the face bank. It is... That scares me. Oh, isn't it? It is weird, isn't it? It's like... When do you see it work? I think he, like, eats money when you put money in it. All right. Uh, and there were no instructions, and, and there's needs. nothing on the box in English. <laughs> Let's see, open... I always need batteries. It needs double A's. Now, do I have double oh, A batteries? Oh, dear. You know what? Do you watch Deal? Do you uh, follow Deal of the Day? I thought this was amazing. So, this is Amazon ba uh, Basics, but I like them. A triple A batteries, 36 of them. Uh, uh, um. Double A's, 48 of them. And the other day, this was Deal of the Day. For sixteen dollars and like fifty cents. Whoa, that's a lot of batteries. <laughs> Eighty-four batteries. For that much money. Okay, so we're gonna get uh, two double A's. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, Forty-eight of them. Okay, and they have a ten-year shelf life, according to Amazon. You see two. Okay, one. All right. 
I isn't going to put the door back on for now. Charlie said, and oh, I thought the, clock, the, the, uh, the bank took 48 batteries. On. <laughs> Oh my god, no! I do not minute, want that. On and off every time? No, okay. Alright, so he's on. So. Oh my god. <laughs> is it motion activated? Is it it's like with the internet yes. before. I can't see, uh, it's sort of facing exactly. you. Go near it. I would I would save no right. money so, because I'm not getting near it. Oh, you know what? Did he stop? Oh no. I guess bigger. It seems bigger coins work better. All right, but I think yes. kids would get it. Yeah, it really kids sounds like it's grinding in there. It's fairly. Gr I I think it's the gear <laughs> yeah, okay. pushing up against that. And then rubberish. If the kid is uh, small, exterior. he can get the money out in a second. <laughs> It looks like you just slide this door open, and there's the money there. So, but I think it, the lights didn't, the, the eyes didn't light up, did they? No. Okay. Uh, so it is. It's expensive, I think. Here. Oh, I'm mean, not expensive, but I wish it were cheaper. Uh, yeah. it comes in colors. Was sixteen, seventeen bucks. However. I think now when you go to AliExpress, AliExpress somehow knows, well, they know what you've been shopping for. So a couple of days ago, this showed up on AliExpress, I think, for $6. Oh, wow. Uh, so if you're interested in this, try AliExpress if you want it right away. It is on Amazon for $17. Oh, That's Scooter it. X said it's now nine seventy five on Scooter on uh, AliExpress. Yeah, so <laughs> for, first, I feel like you gotta like really be it. I don't, who is gonna? <laughs> uh, well, I think a kid will like it because it's so weird. It's so weird. Yeah. It, it. <laughs> yeah. Spaceman said it's a new nightmare unlocked. It reminds me of the last human from um, Doctor Who. Do you know? No. Have you seen this? Um, mm. In the show, they they find the last like human that is alive, but it's that human has gotten so much like plastic surgery that now they're just skin. Oh my god! Yes, it does. Oh. This is the last human. It is just oh my, skin oh my stretched. God. <laughs> yeah. Uh. I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> oh no! It it is. It reminded me of. Um, remember when Wowie used to make these audio, uh, um, audio mechanic things, and they made a gorilla head. Oh. And they sent me one. Do you remember that? I think I do remember that. Yeah. And I did not realize that it had a motion sensor in it. <laughs> And I got up one night to go to the bathroom, like at four in the morning, and this head turned and made this awful sound, and it follows you. And I thought, oh my, and I said, oh my God, okay, it's that thing, and it must have a sensor in it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. It I was, would have it been was, terrified. It, <laughs> <laughs> it was scary. Yeah, I mean, fight or flight would have kicked in, I feel like, at that moment. So here's an AliExpress. This is Scooter X found these. Thank you so much, Scooter X, for for finding some of these. This one's eleven eleven on okay. AliExpress. All the different colors. There's another one, but it kind of fools you because you you have these little guys, but they also have one for six bucks. So it looks like it's, oh, it's starting at six bucks, but it's like this other thing. I don't think it. Oh, you know, oh, I oh, you know, it looks like you drop your coin and you don't. Yeah, there's like a mirror. Yeah, effect. but that's not the one we want. We want this one. No, and that one. no we want the $12. creepy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, so there you go. That's uh, uh, if <laughs> if someone buys if someone buys this and really wants it, I need an email. Okay, if you could email the show, tell me why you need it so bad. 
Oh, that, that they will read it. We'll read it on the show. Yeah, exactly. The face bank. Um, face bank. Yeah, I feel like I would be scared into not pulling my money out of the bank. So it would work there, but then I would be too scared to put the money in the bank. <laughs> so so there would be nothing in there. Yeah, there would be nothing in there. Uh, it's a crazy gadget. It's a good one. It's a good one. Um, okay, another fun gadget is this. It's November, and just about 35 blocks from Disneyland Studio, they are erecting the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree. All right, with millions of LED lights. So I thought it's time we got a tree here. Ta-da! So I bought the decorative LED tree, and I bought two of them, and I'll tell you why, okay? So I bought this. See those tiny little LEDs? And when the box came, I thought, you know, they didn't send me that particular tree. So I ordered another one. And we'll see if there's a difference and if they're even worth getting. All right. But it says, um, and, and the, as you'll see, they, they came from two separate companies with two different names. But as you can see, yeah. the, the packaging is identical. Eerily okay. similar. I yes. guess yes. they stuck this little label on. Maybe that makes it the difference between the big bowls and all these tiny little ones. I pray <laughs> that there are two different trees in here. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, all right. There should the be a I saw face. The they did not check the box on what's in it. Okay. It's a weird base, isn't it? You can use this and let it run off USB. Well, you can put batteries in it down there. I'm going to run if it. I had, if I had batteries. If I like it. And I'm probably going to put this in the hallway. Mm -mm -mm. So this takes some finessing. And um, there's just a little slot here. So it's keyed. All right. So it goes in here. All yep. right. And we'll set up the other one, and then we'll take a break. Dennis is really good at, like, uh, uh, making it look like something. And this one does indeed, wow, have tiny little LEDs. So, oh, wait a minute. All right. Oh, you know. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh oh! Do you know it? Do you know you it, see it already? <laughs> I no, think I, did, yeah. I saw you flip over that box. All right. Uh, I may Front I have of a the suspicion. Box. <laughs> Back of the box. So, oh, it's entirely possible I got two of the same tree, but it's okay because I I like this. I don't like these big glowing grapes. But if I get one of each, it'll be good, so people can see the difference. Oh, wait a minute. I have a silver base, and now I have a gold what? base. Uh, a trunk, I should say. I have a but silver the trunk. The same. And oh, you know what? Trunk. These might be cool white, and these hopefully are warm white. Ooh. Uh, so we're going to spread them out, and we'll come back and take a peek. So we have both of them lit, and we only, Dennis only opened this one up. Now, uh, I'm going to turn the light on from it. They look pretty good, don't they? Uh, so this, they came from two different companies. One company, you have a choice of silver or gold stem. A and this is very, <laughs> okay. There's nothing about this on the box. And suddenly they started blinking, which I don't want. On, steady. If you want it blinking, touch it again. It blinks. <laughs> touch it again. It goes off. Nothing on the box. No instructions. I think they're pretty neat. 
That's good. Now, do you feel like yeah. they looked like, you know, after you posed them and stuff, like you're yeah. going to... Uh, we're going to put it in, in the hallway and, and run it off a little USB, one of those AC to USB uh, adapters. They are marketing them as a Christmas tree, but they're not very... They're that they're Christmas party indoor decor. Yeah. It doesn't look Christmassy, but... No, I think I teased it also. A oh, Christmas tree. Oh, look, here you go. Now it's a Christmas tree. Oh, then now it's a Christmas tree. There you go. Yeah, like a Charlie and it's Bat funny Brown. because uh, uh, lit. I don't see any of the tree with the big bulbs. Yeah, yeah. So and there's no choice. Um, and and it's so, it's being sold in a lot of different places on Amazon yeah. under all different names. Um, I think I paid eighteen bucks, but I think I found it. For or, no, I guess not. Oh, there's a, there's another option. Look at that. Yeah. You can get colors. Purple lights. Lots of luck wow. getting what you order. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it sounds like they're not even checking. They're just ship it out. Yeah. Yeah. Now here's the box. Uh, but. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. Uh, yeah. That's, uh, so, I, I mean... In the end, do you, are you, do you regret your purchase? Or are you? No, okay. I like it. Good, yeah, good. No, I like it. 108 LEDs for 17 bucks. I, I like it. Awesome. Scooter X may have found a similar option. Uh, um, for $4? Yeah. What? 414 What? And this one, it mentions even that they're warm LEDs. You might actually get the right tree from AliExpress because it's coming right yeah. from the factory. Yeah. I cannot believe it. Oh, they have a bunch of them too. Yeah. But the first, I don't know the difference between. Oh, there's the big. There's the big bulbs. Yes. Oh no! Wait. Oh yeah. Wait. Those look like not LEDs. They look like just pearls. But I guess you're right. They are. Yeah, because there's the base. Oh, this one has the, leaves. Oh my goodness! Like metal That's leaves. A, Scooter X, that's a heck of a buy. What's the shipping on it? Uh, I think it's free. Wow. Uh, now I regret my purpose. <laughs> well, it will come in a <laughs> month. Just... It'll come December 11th. Oh, I right, jump right after Christmas. <laughs> yeah, free shipping on first orders. What? That's uh, a great deal. Yeah, that's crazy. That's super that's expensive. A, yeah, and, and I mean, the base is the same and the mount. Yeah, I think that's definitely yeah. from the same company. That's cool. Thanks, Scooter X, for the Scooter five. Scooter X, excellent, excellent. Um, now, before I show you the next gadget, uh, I want you to just go to the to the page, right, for a company selling it. Okay. And here it is. This is how thousands okay. of Americans how thousands of Americans are heating their homes mm. and slashing electric bills. Okay, and. They are saying that it's only a hundred dollars, but they are slashing the price on this website if they're still in stock to just forty nine dollars. Ah, okay. ah. Now nowhere does it tell you how much power it uses. Here, use it. Bedroom, office, the workshop, garage, <laughs> living room. Okay, now we can play my video. Okie dokie. This is a little suspicious, Dickie D. Okay, here's your video. All right, a Power Zone personal ceramic heater. All right, and this was a gift from Lindy Dunn. If you've been to a meetup, you know Lindy's name and you know Lindy, all right? So I, I, there were lots of ads for this on television. And I thought the ads were misleading because you see people sitting in rooms and, oh, it's so warm in there. And it's only 350 watts. So Lindy, I think she expected to heat a bigger space, which it didn't. So she said, you know, if you want to do this for Gizwiz, you can just have it. So I'm doing it, and a couple things about it. One is, it's better made than 
uh, I thought. All right. So on the side is a master, uh, master of lighting control, uh, master on off switch. It's three prong. And the only reason I do not plug heat is into an extension cord. I'm just doing this to the demo. Also, it's 350 watts. It's a quarter of the wattage, even less than most heaters, which usually max out at 1500 watts because they know it's probably on a 15 uh, amp fuse. Anyway, uh, this thing is very nicely made. I've used it a couple of nights only because it gets very cold in my office. And this works great at m under my desk, okay? Plenty of warmth. And I'm going to turn it on here. As I said, don't plug a heater into an extension cord. This one is only 350 watts. So turn on the heater. It's fairly quiet. There's only one speed. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little hard to see. There's a little readout thermostat there. And there's, you can see it going down. Can you see that in the camera? So you set it for the temperature you want in the room. And then it will go off at that temperature. You can also hit the timer and set it for like one hour or two hours for it to go up, off. Up, up to 12 hours. And it's blinking now to say it's set for two hours and it will keep the room at 72 degrees. Uh, it's very compact. And, and remember now, this has to be, I'm going to uh, shut it off here. This goes directly into an outlet. All right, so under my desk, I had to <laughs> build a little stand and get a three-prong extension cord in the back to get this to stand upright. So basically, they want you to plug it into a wall and let it just hang there. So your outlets may not be where you need the heat, all right? It heats a small area, but it heats it well. And it's very funny because... <laughs> I see Lindy, I, I saw the price on the side. Lindy bought this at our local hardware store. And it's a, no, she didn't do badly. It's $26 on Amazon. Uh, she paid $29.99 at our local hardware store. It did not too bad. More than 6,000 ratings. Got 3.9. Not astounding. But more than... A little more than half the people gave it five stars, 53%. Um, so that's it. Actually, uh, um, I will like this because the area I need is just around my desk. So, Lindy, thanks. <laughs> and so that that ad that we first looked at is what? Wh but they never in that ad. I could not find 350 watts because you would know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it cannot produce much heat. Now it was a little better on <laughs> Amazon, saying things like "great to heat 100 square feet." Yeah. A hundred square feet sounds about right. Yes, and then it says, great. which if you think about that, that's ten by ten. That's not that big of a room. That's like right. a, that's a typical small bedroom. Room, yes. But it also says, in parentheses, if your room is airtight, <laughs> which also means you'll probably be dead. You'll be warm and dead. Right. Um, <laughs> and then another ad said. It's excellent if you will live in a warm climate. So this is more what? designed for Orlando. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. Uh, this is the best heater if the typical temperature is 80 degrees. Honestly, yeah. it's a great it's heater. Yeah. If, 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 it's, if it's 80 degrees, this will heat your entire house, including the garage. <laughs> so I think it is so... Um, misleading for them to use on the website that it's incredibly efficient because uh, this is something I learned uh, a while back is heating with electricity is extremely efficient. But that, that <laughs> term is misleading because it's efficient, but that doesn't mean it takes very little energy. What it means is, is that if you use like 100% of, of electricity, you're getting 99% of that electricity as heat is 
taking energy and heating up a filament wire or you know you're a heating element with electricity is ins insanely efficient because if you <laughs> if you think about it you're losing energy to heat but that's the point when you are doing a heating element and so yeah it's an efficient process but that does not mean that it is a low energy process <laughs> yes. um and so it can efficiently create heat from electricity uh but that's not, <laughs> it's not what yeah, yeah. you are thinking in your head. Um, no. So, yeah. So, no, and I think years ago, Consumer Reports said that a certain amount of electricity can only make a certain amount of heat, no matter how, what kind of a cabinet they put it in. Yeah. So, yes. I, I mean, that first day. 350 I'm, watts is 350 watts. It's going to yes, be exactly. the same amount of heat because yeah. that's the amount of watts that's going into the element and the element is putting that into the room. That's yeah. You're hitting there, there, yeah, Eric thermodynamic watts watts. laws and stuff. Yeah. Um, okay. So they were selling it on their website for 50 bucks. 50 uh, bucks. Uh, and they said, normally a unit like this, they said uh, a 1500 watt unit is up to a thousand dollars. Whoa. But we are bringing it in, I think, for one ninety nine. And then they said, "But we cut our costs to the bare bones, and it's ninety nine dollars." However, for the next week or whatever, we're gonna let it go for forty nine ninety nine. Where and you can buy it anywhere for thirty bucks. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And on top of that, yeah. look at this. How, oh you, my God! <laughs> would you oh pay four dollars and sixty-seven cents with free shipping? How about that? This is unbelievable. I, here's what you should really do if you want a small heater. Honestly, this is a fifteen-dollar heater from Walmart. It is one thousand five hundred. There you go. Fifteen hundred watts. Yeah, fifteen hundred watts. It has an anti-tip sensor inside of it. It's not the nicest thing. No, but this it's is not. Gonna do you better than that. Yeah. Um, the, the only time that I think that the one you have is useful is exactly how you describe under the desk. If you have yeah. a plug that's near your computer desk, which you typically do, put it there. It's perfect for heating your feet. It's small. It is Maybe efficient. It won't use up too yeah. much energy, only 250 watts, you know, but you just got to think of it that way. There's... The misleadingness of it'll heat the whole room oh, and it'll... Like it's not worth yeah. it. Not worth it. No. Honestly, this one might actually heat your whole room. I've, it I've had might. one now, very does it similar. Does thermostat too? Say it again? Does it have a thermostat? It's a, it's one of the like uh, dials. It's not quite a oh, thermostat. Oh, okay. It does have a thermostat. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Boy, that's a, that's a very good price. I know. I know, right? Yeah. And, and I've, yeah. I've had something similar. I haven't had this one, but I remember I put it in a bedroom and it heated that bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> it was hot. Uh, it was good. It was great. It worked perfectly. Um, so, uh, so yeah, I, I would... Uh, honestly, heaters are not rocket science. You want one that's safe. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that's mostly it, is you yeah. want one that's safe. Uh, and so yeah. this one or the, you know, any of those, uh, it's... Uh, anyway, that's, I'm glad that uh, you covered that. That's, uh, that's awesome. Uh, okay. Well, with that... It's time for us to head to... You know you don't need it, but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Okie dokie. We are here with the Crappy Corner. Honestly, I think I'm going to do a uh, what the heck is it real fast. Oh, okay. Very good. This is the whole gadget, not just a piece or okay. a part of the gadget. Okay. And here it is. This is it. Uh, Ooh, sorry, I'm trying to get it there. This is uh, uh, sticky right there. Uh, this is like a little of uh, some teeth on it. If I can get it to focus uh, there. And this comes apart. Like this little. What? <laughs> the world's smallest salt shaker? No. Wow. Any ideas? A sh shower head for a Barbie doll house? <laughs> no. 
A bottle opener, says Giz1, no. A strawberry shortcake, no. Oh, that is. <laughs> this it's is a good great. one. Honestly, it's I didn't even great. think about it. It's the world's smallest pepper shaker, uh, technically, no, 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 no. No okay. spray water tip, no budget dentures. <laughs> A duster, <laughs> Lego in carpet replacement. That is very funny, Pack and W. Uh, don't step on it. A candle, candle mount. mount. Nope. 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 Tierra for Bobby. Nope. Nope. I will give y'all a hint. <laughs> this is gonna throw y'all off so bad. Do y'all see the the residue kind of like in this little? Yeah, piece? it looks like it had salt in it or something. That is soap. <laughs> to make soap. C curls? Nope. Uh, let's jump into the wow. video. I didn't realize this is such a good one. No, it's great. <laughs> Here it is. Gadgets that look like they shouldn't work. Listen, I took this gadget category to the extreme and I really found some gadgets that look like they shouldn't work. For example, uh, oh, what, what is honestly, what is going on here? And, and why is he praising Okay, so I'll tell you, this is a, this is a bar of soap, uh, okay? And it's currently levitating on the wall, and you can just grab it off of the wall with a magnet. That's the whole situation. Levitating oh, soap. Oh, my it's God. the magnetic soap holder. So, it's small. It's, it's arrived. It's itty-bitty. The idea is we take this gadget, we embed it into a bar of soap, and then both magnets will hold the soap onto the wall so that you don't have to use one of those little like soap tray things in your bathroom. Uh, and uh, honestly, the soap will just like drip oh, off. And uh, the water oh, the soap oh, I like that. So, uh, the concept seems really, really great. Here are the two pieces that you get. You get uh, the part that's gonna actually shove into the soap and then you get the magnet part and then this has a sticky part on the back side of, of that. So this would be absolutely perfect in a bathroom. Now what do we need? We need a bar of soap. Uh, this will obviously not work with liquid soap. If you thought it would work with liquid soap, <laughs> you're crazy. Um, okay, so this is a, I, I specifically got this Dove bar of soap because I know A, it's a very popular brand and B, it has a very particular curve to it and also the logo kind of feels like it would throw off the, I wanted to give this gadget like, I wanted to give it a run for its money. Let's see how much we can uh, put it through. So this is what gets embedded into the soap. What should I do? Should I do this side? Will this work if I do? Do you think it has enough room to make wall clearance? I think it does yes, if I do that yeah, side. Okay, yes. so let's try the, let's try this side right here. I'm just gonna place this on the top and then push it into the soap, and this will embed it inside of the bar of soap. Okay, that feels pretty strong. It feels it feels pretty good. And then this magnet would hold it. Ah, I'm seeing, I may need to leave a little bit more of a lip than I did. And let's also take, uh, let's go ahead and stick this on the wall. So we'll peel off that. I'm just gonna stick it on my wall. Obviously you could put it in the bathroom, tile would be perfect. Uh, for this type of thing. But now that we have the magnet, oh no, uh-oh. Okay, that's not working. It doesn't have enough grip to keep the soap up. The soap is too heavy. Okay, let me try to unembed. Now I need to get this out and I'm gonna try again. Here's my theory is that uh, the magnet piece here, when it, uh, there's almost like a lip to this and so it, it can go in there and hopefully that'll stop it from falling. So instead of the concave side, we're gonna do this side. So I'll push this in here and I think that'll give us a bit um, more yeah, I think room it's maybe work. also. I'm not gonna push it quite as far in. There we go. Oh, hey, that worked. Oh, uh-oh, oh, my no. bar so fell off. Okay, we're gonna avoid the logo and we're gonna put it over here. Try to grab as much soap as possible. Okay, I got soap stuff falling on the ground now. Ugh, really push that in there. I don't wanna push it so far that it doesn't have a lip anymore because I want it to be able to capture. <laughs> okay, 
I think I think I can probably say definitively I don't like this gadget. It looks like it shouldn't work, and it doesn't work. This is my last try here. <sighs> nope, this is just not good. The magnet isn't strong enough. The soap is too heavy. I finally got it to work. That's just frustrating. It needs to work right off the bat, okay? This is this is just too much. <laughs> Maybe the bar of soap is wrong. Maybe I can't use this Dove bar of soap. But whatever uh, whatever the problem, I don't like this gadget. <laughs> so, there you go. That's the... <laughs> you think it will work better with square soap? Maybe. Possibly. I'm going to um, buy one. So, like, the... Because and I the like soap, the idea. Yeah, I, I do too. Soap. And I, I thought that maybe the the magnet could be embedded like in the middle of the soap, but uh, not not uh, that's not how um, it would work. So, and also uh, on there, I gotta search for uh, I forgot to get the Amazon link. Um, the soap that they used in the Amazon page was a more clear soap. Oh, Kajina. Something like that. Um, yeah. A magnet soap holder. I need to find this. Um, and uh, and so I, the possibly the type of soap that I used, and maybe a less heavy soap. But all that all that said, it seems like it should just work kind of right off the bat. Um, yeah. Honestly, uh, it's frustrating that, that it didn't it, it didn't work. Um, it's weird. It got great reviews. So. Um, oh, okay. maybe I was unlucky. Um, then you can kind of see in their imagery, they always use this soap. Oh, yeah. This weird rec circular, that's the one they have in all the photos. Um, so I don't know if that would help or not. Uh, Scooter X did find an option. If you don't want to use this one, it's slightly different. It's only 99 cents, but it has a different, um, magnet holder. So this is, it almost looks like a spigot from the wall, but yeah, it'll hold it, it upside down, which is kind of nice, helps with the dripping. Oh. It's like the exact same type of uh, soap dispenser. Oh, but then you have to mount the thing in the wall. That is true. <laughs> yeah, you like have some screw, screw holes. holes. Yeah, that's not How much weird. is the one you bought? Uh, let me go back to it. Uh, this one is, once I scroll up, unavailable, oh no! Oh, oh no! I need to go find. Uh, I need to go search. Oh, just my, go straight uh, up. I think there's more. Yeah, there's a few others. This one's similar, ish. Uh, that one's only seven dollars. So in this one, the the thing that goes onto the wall looks more substantial, and the thing that goes into the soap uh, looks about the same. But yeah, seven seven dollars for that. Yeah, I'm gonna get that. Yeah, that one that one might actually work better. Maybe that one has a stronger magnet. Yeah. But there's a there's a few different options. I mean, once you've now gone into the magnet soap category, you have these are like some uh looks like wood options. Yeah. You have uh the metal one we showed before. There's a different wood option. This one is um uses a suction cup uh at the back. I didn't realize oh. it was a whole whole cottage industry yeah. around. <laughs> The magnetic soap um, thing. I think it's great if you're someone who uses a bar of soap uh, in the shower. You know, I hate setting it in the in the little scoop thing, and then it just like sits in water, and then it gets all yeah. Weird. Also, I hate that. we have it with the soap dishes built into the wall. Yeah, and it slides out. Yes, <laughs> yes. You, if you have you a turn bad soap dish, around to do the other side of your body, and it's already in the drain. Yeah, <laughs> it just falls out and. The yeah. water washes it right up to the drain. Yeah. I thought it was just such a clever thing. Yeah, no, it's um, clever. I like it. And then the back of this magnet piece is, is uh, so like if you were, if you accidentally, you know, the teeth go into the soap. So you shouldn't accidentally scrape yourself uh, if uh, if you're washing your body all over. Um, but there you go. That is uh, the soap, hole, magnet soap holder um, on gadgets that look like they shouldn't work. I thought magnets was, you. there's got to be a gadget that uses magnets that makes it look like it shouldn't work, or looks like it shouldn't exist uh, type of thing. Uh, so anyway, that was a crappy yeah, corner. Yeah. With that, nice. 
let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Bug on. Our email is from Bill Holmes, who last year sent in the video of the hard drive. It was like 44 megahertz or something, and it yes. weighed eight pounds. Well, he has another really fascinating gadget, and here it is. Gadget? Oh, that hey, me. Chad. This is Bill Holmes from Connecticut, and um, I'm here to show you some uh, old tech. Yeah. I work at a school, and sometimes when a teacher retires after 30 years and we clean out the closet, you never know what you're going to find. Well, this year, this is what we found. No way. And this is a um, uh, an iBook. Oh, this yeah, is from uh, 2000, believe it or not, so it's 23 years old. Um, it, it must be a high-end model because it's got the DVD player. Uh, and here's the other ports, um, the modem for your um, telephone line, your regular internet, uh, firewire, microphone, and here. So now everybody might remember the nickname that this had, and the nickname was the, the um, toilet lid Mac. It kind of <laughs> does look like a toilet lid, doesn't it? So nice. um, believe it or not, it still starts up. No so way. If you don't mind uh, hanging out for a few minutes, we'll uh, get it going. But here's some specs. It's a 366 megahertz CPU. Oh my God. It's got a whopping 192 megabytes of memory, which is an upgrade from the 64 that you got with the standard version. As you can see, it's running Mac OS 9.1. <laughs> uh, it also has 10 gigs of memory. And the screen is a 12 inch 800 by 600 LCD. Now, originally this sold for um, $1,499, but I think we probably paid more for this because it's got extra memory and the um, airport Wi Fi. Um, now, in today's money, that's like $2,700 um, without the upgrades. So it's loading up its extensions, and in a short minute here, you're going to be uh, at the screen. Oh, here's um, a preview of the Apple Watch, what the Apple Watch will look like someday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. And like I say, that is we're so just, cool. We're just letting it finish up. I don't know why it's taking so I long. I believe these iBooks had the handle. Right, uh, and here we handle. are. We're at the desktop. As you can wow. see, it's, it's got all, all the things you want. Here's Microsoft Word. Oh. See if we can get this going. Well, unfortunately, sometimes, like any computer, it takes a, a little bit even though you're at the desktop. Uh, the funny thing is it even has um, uh, Microsoft's Internet Explorer built <laughs> right into it. So you can get on the Internet. There's only one problem. It's totally useless on the Internet because everything is SSL now and or HTTPS in this uh, computer obviously does not have any of the um, prerequisites to get on the internet. So there's there's Microsoft Word. Uh, it's got Entourage. If anybody from the Mac community remembers Entourage instead of Outlook, let's see if we can get um, Internet Explorer to work here, and then we'll, we'll let you guys uh, go. This but is yeah, so there cool. There you go, Microsoft's Internet Explorer five, and like I say. Five. I don't even have it plugged into the internet, but if I did, uh, it'd be useless because it can't get on any websites because of security reasons. All right, anyways, guys, uh, thanks a lot for uh, uh, showing my video, and uh, have a great day. That is... Bill, that was great. Cool. That was great. That's crazy. And he apologized. He said, I'm sorry that the kids in the background were making noise. <laughs> no. Uh, doesn't no, matter. Good. That was super. Oh, my god. I goodness. was so jealous of people. I saw um, God, people in, uh, I mean, I, when these were going through the school system, this would have been like elementary school for me. Um, and I remember seeing them and just being enamored enamored by how colorful they were, how cool they looked. 
Oh, it looks like get... a handle slides into it. it it's uh, it, on the back, this uh, piece, it's like a colored piece. It lifts up to be a handle. Oh, okay. So okay. it's just always attached. It's like a little hinge. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Those and the iMac, the iMacs had a handle on the, t on the top too. Um, those candy uh, iMacs. But yeah, this is... Wow. <laughs> that is Feel really, that great. really great. cool. Feel like and I you got can't believe like that it still boots. Like, that's... <laughs> yeah! Crazy. That is crazy. Amazing. Amazing. Bill, thank you so yeah. much. Uh, if you want to get in on being uh, on the Gadget Warehouse, anything to do with a gadget, we love this kind of stuff. Old, old tech... <laughs> Although tech that still works is is uh, unbelievable, but even if it doesn't, we just love looking at old tech that, in its time, was something really hot. Or as Chad was so jealous that he didn't have one of these twenty three years ago. So to so make a video, yeah, one to three minutes, you can be in it like Bill was, just horizontal format, and put it up on YouTube. And when you upload a video, there's a drop-down menu, click Unlisted, and that way only people with the URL will be able to see it and send the URL to us, mail at gizwiz.tv. And if we show your video, you'll get the current issue of Mad Magazine autographed to you by me. That's if you live in the U.S. and Canada. If you live elsewhere in the world, send us a video. Uh, I will sign a 40-year-old Alfred E. Newman photo and send you a high-res image to print out wherever you are in the world. Or Mars, we don't care. <laughs> so, solar system, even. Yeah, you know? solar system. We don't, no, care, yeah. we don't mind. We, we, yeah. we don't mind at all. That yeah. was yeah. really, really awesome. That was such a great warehouse. That was great. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Insane. Insane. Very cool. With that, let's move on to the letter. <laughs> Nah. Okay, now the letter, it's very funny because the letter is about an e-bike that Mo took a video of, oh, like uh, maybe three or four weeks ago. And it was an e-bike that had a back seat and a windshield and the salesman, the, the, uh, the guy who was there, he was not a salesman, he was the mechanic. He told Mo that it was street legal and you could just drive this around. Okay. So in response to that, Michael Prine, P-R-I-N-E, says, many small electric trikes are registered as motorcycles yes. so that don't have to go through safety checks that a car would. And specifically need... also safety belts. You don't need a Oh, okay. You don't need a belt if you're a motorcycle. Yes. Uh, so check your local laws to be safe. It's also possible they count as bikes in China, <laughs> but I would count on that argument here in court. Uh, also, I don't, I never heard this before. Also motorcycles with less than five horsepower do not require a license plate insurance or a driver's license. <laughs> In most locations, huh. they don't go fast, but they can get you there and can be had for less than $5,000, often less than $2,000 for the scooters. Um, and that's Michael Prine, who is retired from the University of New Mexico. Now, what is weird is right before the show, I get a text from Mo. Oh, Updating regarding the e-bike I store at the e-bike store. I actually saw a person on a New York City street in the borough of Queens driving one. What? No way! He pulled over and I decided to stop and ask him questions. First, Mo is the uh, best investigative reporter we have. Yes, yes. Uh, an ex-policeman, so he knows how to get to the... <laughs> great. First, he said his e-bike has an e-car classification. Ah. 
you need a driver's license, insurance, plates, and registration. He says New York State classifies the e-car as a street legal. Um, I just I just have my place here. Um, oh, here it is. As a street legal vehicle with some restrictions at the top speed is 35 miles an hour. He actually bought the vehicle in the same store where I saw it and made the video of the four-wheel e-car. He stated that the e-car I saw was not street legal ah. and could not be driven off private property. Ah. Probably use it on a golf course or right. off road. Um, the e-car that he had had uh, had some differences. His is a three-wheel e-car, street legal, all the features uh, allowed on a New York City street, uh, signal, headlights, <laughs> windshield wipers, etc. He pays $4,000 for liability insurance. Wow. Okay, so you cannot take that bike. No. <laughs> and, well, we all do in New York yes. City. Just Try, try, try drive, <laughs> drive anything. Mo, that That's was so, great. So timely. Yes. Mo, thank you so much for finding and out Michael, that. And Michael, uh, Michael uh, Prine, thank you for is, your insight. Oh, that is crazy. That is awesome. Um, yeah. It's funny because I think that some of the, you know, like it's not street legal. I think some of those things aren't that, you know, you just need bumpers, blinkers, lights, you know, you just need to make sure that the vehicle has all that stuff. You know, I'm not sure if there's any other safety requirements like airbags or seatbelts oh, or that yeah. type of thing. But, but yeah, that's, uh, that is so, so, so funny. Um, Eric Duckman says there's something called an in-EV, which is a neighborhood electric vehicle. And it, these kind of remind me a lot of just golf carts, right? Oh, uh, yes. No, they, yes. And I think this would be kind of the same category. It's like, yeah, you can drive them on some city streets. Some city ordinances will allow you to drive this type of vehicle, but can't take it on a normal road or like a fast-moving road, um, uh, and, and, you know, typically. So, so, so cool. Neat. Um, yeah. That's very neat. I, I still want one. <laughs> <laughs> I want one. I don't have anywhere to drive it. I don't have private property that is big enough for that thing, but it's just so adorable and cute. Uh, it, and are you like in, in a community though? Like, do you have quiet streets where you could get no, away with that? Not no, really. There are some towns around that do. Um, there's some, there's some, you know, like, uh, you know, not town, you know, the suburbs of, uh, of Orlando that I know that have more, I like I know of golf karting kind of neighborhoods and towns oh, okay. and that sort of stuff okay. where they do take yeah. golf carts out often. Um, so yeah, like the villages. The villages is uh, a perfect example. <laughs> Have you heard of the villages? No. It's it's weirdly like famous uh, because um, it's just so big. It's weird. It's this super weird. It's not weird. Anyway, it's it's a conglomeration of neighborhoods. All of them are 55 and up uh, communities, and every t and whenever you buy a plot of land, you the first time you buy it, you actually buy a bond uh, for the villages, and so that bond goes to pay for infrastructure and stuff. And the villages are just like the most maintained, perfect neighborhoods you've like ever seen. They have p tons of community features, so like you know, community pools and uh, recreation centers and everything. And everyone gets around via golf carts. They have golf cart lanes that oh, they just well, okay, take okay. golf carts everywhere. And there's little town centers all over the place where you just take a golf cart in and, uh, and whatnot. It's, um, uh, it's kind of, it's, and it, it's interesting because this really doesn't exist anywhere else in, in how, the villages is is oh, done. Okay. Okay. Um, the village is north uh, and a little west of Orlando. It's probably like an hour and a half to, uh, to Disney, uh, if if uh, you're trying to pinpoint it. Um, okay. But it's big. It's huge. This is huge, and it just keeps growing, and it's it's crazy. Um, but yeah, that reminds. You could use this in the villages. It seems like. 
Uh, I want to say thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Currently, we're doing some gadget giveaways right now. Uh, if you're a patron, uh, we gave away a glow-in-the-dark fort, which I don't have with me anymore. This week, we are giving away, I have it right here, the cool fan. I don't remember, know if y'all <laughs> remember this gadget. It is uh, a Bluetooth fan combo. So you need to listen to your music and, and cool off. And Mickey Mouse device. And if you need to be Mickey Mouse, you can do that too. Uh, yeah. Yeah, anyway, so we're giving this away uh, to our patrons. Uh, go join the um, the giveaway form post uh, for that. And uh, we'll continue to do that. So thank you to our patrons so much. Thank you guys so, so, so much for supporting our show. We really, really appreciate your support. If you like the Gizwiz, please consider giving back over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Or you can head on over to our website, gizwiz.tv. And there's a Patreon tab at the top of the website. Follow that to our Patreon page. There's also a PayPal link on that website if you want to give via PayPal, however you give. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your support. We really appreciate it. Uh, speaking of Gizwiz.tv, that's where you can watch the show live just about every Thursday. Reminder, next week we will be on a Tuesday instead of a Thursday for Thanksgiving. Uh, so please come on over and hang out with us there. Uh, and join the chat room. The chat room is amazing, full of fantastic people. Right now we have 54 fantastic folks in there. So please join the chat room and chat along with everyone. You can catch all of our episodes after we are live there at gizwiz.tv or on our YouTube page. We're also on Apple Podcasts. So we're all over the place. Head on over to gizwiz.biz. That's Dickie D's website. He writes articles about all of the gadgets that we cover on the show. So if you ever need more information about any of the gadgets, head on over to gizwiz.biz. While you're there, play What the Heck Is It? This is a gadget, a whole gadget, similar to how we played this episode. This gadget needs to be guessed. And um, I hate to give it away. This was the uh, foray into the one button remote. Uh, you just uh, <laughs> long press to go up a channel, short press to go down a channel, and you'd use Morse code for everything else. Uh, oh. So if you think you know what this gadget is, get a guessin'. Uh, it gives whiz dot biz, six mad magazines for correct answers, 12 mad magazines for funny, clever, or hilarious answers. And get a guess over at gizwiz.biz. That about wraps it up for our show. We'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>